Pisces Massive. It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you a weekly read. This is going to be, um, let's see, March 29th through April 4th. And this will be the last time that I will announce the dates in the readings because the readings are actually timeless. You know, if you watch it two months from now, what difference is it going to, and it resonates, what difference is it going to make for you that it's labeled May 29th? If anything, it's just going to confuse you instead of you taking the message. So... With that being said, I'm going to remove the dates from, you know, when I mention the videos. I won't be mentioning that anymore starting next week. I'm going to post weekly for every sign like I've been doing, so just keep that in mind, okay? Now, I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support or the Pisces, the Piscean energy that you bring to the channel. Thank you so much. Love you guys for it. And um, if you need a personal reading, my information's in the box below. You want to take what resonates in this reading and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, um, check your other placements. If you need a personal read, my information is in the box below. If you need a natal chart reading, um, a love compatibility reading, if you need a solar return reading done, um, check out the information in the box below. Those are provided as well. Uh, the the uh, Tarology Academy is going to be doing its first session. Um, the first session is going to be available April 1st through the Patreon membership. The link for that is going to be in the box below if you're interested in learning the fundamentals, you know, the basics of um, astrology and tarot combined um, for, you know, your readings, then uh, you want to check that out, okay? It's only five bucks a month. You get all the extended videos that I post as well, along with the Tarology Academy information. So... With that being said, let's see what we got for you, Pisces. What messages do we have for my Pisces Massive? First card out is the Queen of Swords in Reverse. All right. This is telling me that somebody is not being honest with themselves. Okay, with the Queen of Swords in Reverse energy. This is Libra energy. This is someone who's not being fair to themselves. The information that you are not accepting or looking at or whatever it is that you're not dealing with in a realistic manner is, is, is not a service to you. It is of disservice to you, okay? For some of you, as a result of you not seeing what was going on or having the wool pulled over your eyes or someone lying to you, um, it's in a situation, you're in a situation where it's causing you great pain, okay? This is what I'm getting here with this energy here. Um, this is somebody who's not being treated fairly, whether it's by themselves or by others. And there's a lot of pain that comes with that, you know, knowing that someone's just not treating you fairly or they're being unjust to you for whatever reason. Okay. That's the energy I'm getting for you for the current situation. Let's see what the challenge is in this situation for my Pisces. Okay. Four cups wanted to come out. So we're going to take that and it came out in reverse. The challenge is you, um, having a different outlook. This is, um, Scorpio, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Capricorn. Why am I saying that? We're all the wrong signs. Cancerian energy with the four of cups in reverse. So the challenge is you, um, you know, having, realizing that maybe you were in a situation where you weren't appreciated. You were definitely taken advantage of in some way, shape or form. Someone did not realize your value or worth and it could have very well been you who did not realize your value or worth because you were in denial about a situation, a person or place. Not looking at it for the truth that it brings. And it could be now that you see the truth, you realize that this was um, a, a putting you in a position where it was a disadvantage to you. All right. So as a result of that, you are, you know, maybe looking at things differently now or the chance that this is the challenge. The challenge is you looking at things differently. So as a result here, this is telling me that you're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing the truth in the matter for whatever reason. It could be because it's too painful but let's see what your spirit guides, your ancestors, your guardian angels, your higher self, what they have to say in reference to this situation and what they want you to take in take into consideration. Five of Wands. Now, this Five of Wands energy is Leo energy, so this could be talking about the self, okay? The ego. Um, this could be you in your head about the situation, and maybe you're looking at it as if, you know, um, there's competing thoughts competing energies that are clouding your judgment in a sense this would also represent good old-fashioned jealousy um other competition okay a lot of stress a lot of people in the business um just a lot of a lot of scattered um energy that's very um dramatic okay and it, it's 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 against you 
okay, is what I'm getting here. Let's take a look at where your head is at, and then we'll um, get the outcome, and then we'll see what the overall energy is. So what are, where's your head at with this? We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this is about rejection, could be, with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, this is about false starts, maybe thinking that something was going to happen, and then it, it just went, it flopped. Okay, this could also be about sexual energy, something being strictly sexual. Okay, so for some of you, this could be the situation here with these four cards here. You could be in a situation with someone where you're not realizing that this is just a sexual relationship. This person could have other people that they're seeing, other competition, jealousy, envy. Um, this could also represent you in your head about it. You know, wondering why this person might have rejected you and or wondering why this person is treating you unfairly. And treating you as a sex object. Or this could be you doing this to someone else. Take the energy how it resonates. Especially for the people who are watching on behalf of, of uh, Pisces. Let's see what the outcome is for you Pisces. What's the outcome in this situation? King of Cups energy. Scorpio energy. All right, so with this King of Cups energy, this represents someone who is um, a charismatic person, someone who takes charge, who takes action in reference to this could be about self-love. Like, you know what? You're not going to I'm not going to allow you to continue to treat me like this. I'm going to end things with you because I deserve better. I deserve love. I deserve someone who wants love, the type of love that I want and who's willing to act out and give me that love. All right, this is someone who's very intuitive, who's tapping into their intuitive powers to realize that, you know, this situation may not be in your best interest. And masculine energy with the king is telling me that you're taking action toward that. You are actually taking action to, to do the self-love thing, as in maybe to cut this situation out or to bring this to this person's attention, how you're being treated. All right, but the overall energy is the three of cups in reverse. This could represent the fact that someone does not want to reconnect with friends or former friends. This could represent fake friends as well with the three of cups in reverse. People you thought were your friends, but in reality, you know, they're just out for whatever they want from you. This three of cups in reverse could also represent not having support from people as in they were fake friends. You know, or just not having support around you, period, while you're going through this situation. Not having someone to talk to, to confide in. Someone who understands your point of view. Not having that around is what I'm getting here with that. So let's take a look and break this down and see what's going on here. So let's clarify this queen of swords in reverse here. So this is a situation where you're not seeing the reality of a situation here. It looks like you do see it in the end. But I'm getting here that, you know, you're around people who just ain't good for you. And I know that for a fact. I'm putting, um, like, your past readings. You may want to check out the past Piscean readings if this is resonating with you. Because I did do, um, I remember distinctively that you guys are around people who don't mean you well. Okay? And for whatever reason, you're not seeing that. Could be in a work environment. Could be in a social environment. Um, but these people don't mean you well, and it would behoove you to move away from them. Clarify this queen of swords in reverse. We have that clarified with cheers, cheerfulness. Okay, this represents, well, let's pull the cards first because uh, it could be something different. We have thief. Mm -hmm. People fake friends, like I said. This here, these two cards here. This is telling me the same story as this card here. Fake people around you. People who are playing with you. People who have intention of doing something to you or taking something from you. Okay? But they're not genuine. Alright? Not genuine at all. This cheerfulness card reminds me of also of this Three of Cups card. Okay? But it's in the upright. So this is someone who may want to um, party with you. May want to reconnect with you. Um, if this is a lover, this is a lover who is seeing other people and they could be lying to you, telling you that they're not. But with this thief card, I, I see something else. Okay, let's clarify cheerfulness here. Clarify cheerfulness with the uh, Empress in Reverse card. This is major arcana energy here. Let's clarify a uh, thief and then we'll talk about that. Why is this thief card here? Hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Seven of Swords. Like, that's clarifying the fucking thief card. So someone is definitely trying to get something from you or you're trying to get something from someone. Take the energy how it resonates. If you're watching on behalf of uh, Pisces and they did you dirty, yeah, that's what this is all about. And you didn't see it coming or you, you know, maybe maybe um, found out about it after the fact and it's just like, oh shit, really? Is this what you're doing? This person stole. This person stole from you. They could have stole money from you with the Empress in reverse here. Um, this Empress in Reverse energy, yeah, they could have pretended they were your friend. You know, they might have been in your house or what have you or around your shit, something of value. They stole it from you, okay? Or they set you up to be somebody to, somebody to steal from you. This person was not, ooh, this is, this is really fucked up energy here. And you didn't even see it coming or you didn't even realize it was them with the, eight, with the Queen of Swords in Reverse. Or you caught them out there. With it, well, you didn't catch them out there. They got away with it. But after they got away with it, you saw it. And in retrospect, you're like, ah, okay, that sneaky bastard or that sneaky, you know what. <laughs> yep, that's what happened here. All right. So let's take a look at this four of cups in reverse because that's the challenge. The challenge is you having a, 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 a new opinion. Why would you have a new opinion? Is this person trying to come back? Hold on, let's see what's up. Oh, that's the wrong cards. But the Knight of Wands in reverse came out <laughs> with that deck. So this could be about sex. This person is just coming around to get what they can get from you. What's this Four of Cups in reverse? We have Widower in reverse. We have Conversation. Yeah, this person wants to come back. See, they want to come back and they want to talk. They want to tell you what happened, but what had happened was... and. What really was going on was, and you know, I wasn't myself, and I didn't know that this was going to go this far, and it really didn't, I really didn't think that this was, you know, I didn't, you know, I, uh, uh, uh. whatever with all that bullshit. Clarify this widower in reverse with the two, okay, hello? This is what I'm saying. They're going to be lying to you. So they could have been just lying to you. This queen of swords in reverse could just represent this person lying to you, beating you in the head with bullshit, as we call it around the way. Clarify conversation. Why is conversation here? What does this person want to talk to you about? What do they want to lie to you about? Because they see in other people. Two of pentacles in reverse. They could be also with this, I'm sorry, um, temperance in reverse. Uh, uh, forgive me. This is temperance upright. I was looking at this two of pentacles in reverse and I was about to say they could have been having some financial issues or difficulty if they stole money from you. That might have been why they stole from you. So you probably caught their asses out there. And check them, and they're like, "Well, you know, I I was down and out, and da, 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 da. Mm. we have the temperance energy here. So the challenge is you keeping your emotions intact with this person while you have a conversation with them, because this is what's clarifying conversation. You not spazzing out on their asses and good luck, cause uh, I don't like thieves. Ooh, I don't like a motherfucking thief." <laughs> I would rather you just lie on me. Don't, ooh, don't steal from me, child. All right. So the five of swords is the over is the um energy that your spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels, your higher self wants you to keep in mind. Oh, and this one to come right on out. Journey, move away, get away, back away from the retarded person. Now I won't <laughs> back away from the devious, deceitful person. Let's just say that. And then we have. Thought and reverse. And it's like, this is you in your head fighting it. And it's like, don't think about it. Just move. That's what these cards are saying. Don't think about it. Don't second guess yourself. Just cut this person off. The hell with what they were telling you. Or maybe you really weren't listening to them when they were telling you what was going on. They took you on a journey. They took you on a mind trip. Uh, shout out to Water. <laughs> Water what is this? Water Star Vibes. I love her, um, her mind trips. Um... But yeah, this person had you in your head with the um, with the five of wands energy here. You know, I'm feeling like they took you uh, on a on a on a trip. They tripped you out here. They told you some things that weren't true. They lied to you. They deceived you. Clarified journey. Mm hmm. Knight of cups reverse. Clarified with the seven of 
See, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. See, yeah, this is the person who was lying to you. They they not really sorry with this um Knight of Cups in reverse. They're not sorry. They played games with you purposely because they wanted something for nothing with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They were just they knew what they were doing. You were a target. Clarify this Ace of Wands in reverse. And they probably used the sex to get you to lure you in. Clarify this because this Ace of Wands in reverse could talk about sex. Okay? And that's where your head is at right now with this Ace of Wands in reverse. But this could be you rejecting them as well. Rejecting what they're telling you. Rejecting the bullshit. Clarify this Ace of Wands in reverse. We have that clarify with frivility. Okay? And then we also have Scholar. Let's clarify that. Yeah, you're not studying this shit that they're talking about. It's like they keep going back and forth with the frivility. It's like one minute they're here, one minute they're not. One minute they want sex, one minute they don't. And, and it's like with the scholar energy, I won't say that you're not concentrating on it. It's like they they are in your mind. They have you, they have you, they have your attention. Let's put it this way. The way that they're acting and behaving. Frivility is clarified with the three of wands reverse. So you know that this is not going anywhere because they can't, they're in and out. They're not interested in settling down. They're too wishy-washy. Let's call it that way. All right. And then we have scholar clarified with four of wands. I'm sorry, four of swords. So you just want peace of mind. So yeah, this person, you know, this situation that's been going on, it's been heavily on your mind and you just want peace. You know, you just want, and, and for some of you, you stop talking to this person. So this is what the Ace of Wands in Reverse represents, that you're rejecting the bullshit they're talking. You heard what they had to say, and it's just like, nah, I'm good. Now, the outcome is the King of Cups energy. Let's clarify this King of Cups energy and see what this is about. Why is this King of Cups here? We have him clarified with hope and despair in Reverse. So let's clarify that and see what that means here. Because this is telling me that um, you cut this person out is what I'm getting here. It's like you want a real love, but you realize that you're not going to get that. with Oh, here, here. Didn't I tell you when I started shuffling the, um, this deck before the other one by mistake? I said the Knight of uh, Wands in Reverse came out. Here we go. This is all about sex. They lured you in with the sex. That's how they got you. Because you're a water sign. I'm gonna, let me tell you about this. And see, now you, you realize that. And you, with the despair card in reverse, like, they had you. They had you good. They had you in your head. And you let them go. Now, this could be you doing this to someone as well, Pisces. You could have did this to someone. You could have played someone for some money. Okay? Take the energy how it resonates. So those watching, um, who are watching for Pisces, if they... If you went through this with the Pisces, they played you, yes. They they, they they did this on purpose. So don't believe the bullshit they're telling you in reference to, oh, it wasn't like that. It was. It was definitely like that. Let's pull these five cards, these first five cards, and see what they're talking about. So yeah, three of cups in reverse. This person was a fake friend, faking like they liked you, faking like everything was good, like they were in, you know, going to be um, good with you. All right? And they also want to come back. For some of them, they, they may have tried to come back to you. Um, but this, um, fool card in reverse also talks to me the similar way that the ace of wands in reverse talks to me when it talks about rejections and false starts. This person may have said, oh, okay, I want to get back together with you. Um, maybe we can start over again, but it's bullshit. They don't. And then we have the seven of cups in reverse. I'm sorry, seven of pentacles in reverse again. Someone wanting something for nothing. Someone trying to get money. Someone trying to act real quickly on it. And then you, we got you here, which is the Nine of Wands. You defending yourself and guarding and blocking this motherfucker. Block them. Block. I don't want to hear you. I don't want you calling me. I'm blocking your number. I'm not answering you on the phone. I'm not answering your texts. I'm deleting you off my social media. You know, because this person was trying to play games with you with the strength card in reverse. They were trying to abuse their power. Like I told you, this was intent. This was intentional. They were. You were prey. Okay? You were prey. This person wasn't playing. They saw you and they were like, yeah, he's a sucker. She's a sucker with the four of wands, with the four of pentacles in reverse. Four, see, when the four of pentacles is in upright, this is someone who's protected, guarded. They're closed in. You can't just get in with them. In reverse, the worst case scenario with this one is in reverse is they think you're stupid. They think you're a sucker. They think you're weak. They think you're easy. They think you're an easy target. All right, and then someone moved away from the situation, though, with the Six of Swords, whether it was you 
um, moving away after you realize what they did or this was them doing their dirt and then dipping off moving away mm-hmm and then we got the the moon card here the two of wands in reverse and the page and the um, page of swords energy here with the page of wands in reverse yeah you cut them off with the six of swords this was someone from the past six of cups in reverse this is someone from your past you cut them off and we got the eight of cups here you walking away uh-huh so with the two of wands here it's like um you realize that this was not going anywhere okay and you tapped into your higher self with the moon card and you realize you needed to cut this person off with the page of swords all right because with the knight of wands in reverse it's all about sex with them you know this was someone that you had some unrealistic expectations with with the six of cups reverse um and with the eight of cups here you decide to walk away Yep, that's what I'm getting here. This is pretty cut and dry here. Let me get you some advice. See what we got for you, Pisces. Now, this could be Pisces doing this too, okay? Like I said, take the energy how it resonates. But um, this is the story, no matter what role or position you play in it. Clarify, or not clarify, but let's get some advice for those who are going through this situation. Those who have been taken advantage of this by this person. What messages of advice do we have for them? What messages of advice do we have? Okay. Loyal heart. I've not pulled this one before. This three and the five on this card adds up to the number eight. The number eight is the strength card. Okay. Let's see what that message is all about. Fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. This also cor correlates with the uh, King of Cups energy here. So the outcome is, is that, you know, you're looking for someone who's loyal, someone who's going to give the same love that you give, someone who um, is ready for a mature relationship and who's ready to take action towards that because you're a loyal heart. All right, King of Cups energy. So... Let's see. The protection message says, are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some damn room. <laughs> no, it said make some room. It was just me exaggerating. Make some room. Get rid of, make some room. Get rid of this, okay? Especially if they're still around and they're coming back telling you, oh, well, what happened was... This person, I don't understand what the hell they could actually even tell you that would make you say that this shit is okay. Especially now that the cards are all laid out and you know that they, it's not like they just happen to meet you and then they just happen to see that you had something and they just, you know, they have a, <laughs> they have hypochondria, not hypochondria, what is it, hypochondriac? No, that's something different. What is a person who steals and can't help it? I forget the definition. I forget what the actual um, word is. It's a person who they can't help stealing shit. They got sticky fingers. I can see if this person was diagnosed with that. Then that's something different. But no, this person, they, they, they checked you out. They saw who you were. They played you. They purposely set out to get you. They pretended to be your friend. Okay? They pretended. And the Seven of Swords here, this, this is not some shit that happens by accident. This is not somebody making a mistake and taking it and it was just a misunderstanding. This is someone who sets out with the goal, the intent to deceive you, to take from you, to put you in a compromising position, to hurt you. They know that what they're doing is going to hurt you in some sort of way and they do it anyway. It's just thought out. This is premeditated, honey. This is not, no. So I personally don't know what the hell they could possibly say to you to make you want to take them back, but... 
I can understand if you love this person. I get because love transcends all kinds of bullshit. I do get it. But shit. <laughs> you know, if <laughs> you ever see The Wire, um, <laughs> what one was it? The series where they had the, I don't know what series. He was in a couple of them, but he used to say shit. You know, <laughs> and drag it out like shit. I wish I would. But yeah, this person here, mm mm. I don't know if you could trust them again. And the universe is telling you you can't. They're telling you to cut this out. Okay? Cut this person out. Don't even consider taking them back. Even if you got them, you know, um, even if you got them, what, like on punishment or something or whatever. Nah, just let them let them be. Let them go. You know, because they're not, they're coming from a place of, 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 they're not coming from a place of where you're coming from. You guys are not on the same page. What, what What's up with this? You saw me uh, shuffle. I told you they were using sex to get in with you. Okay? This in this connection is a passionate but not enduring. So it's the sex. For some of you, it's not that you love this person. It's you love that sex. You know? And if this is a Pisces doing it to you, you know, I feel bad for you. Because Pisces, they have that healing energy. So I can understand why you love that sex. But this person, there's a price. There's a price you're paying. All right? Let's see what other messages we got. Yeah, they, I told you they're coming back with the bullshit. Well, what happened was you can expect an apology, okay? So, yeah, they'll apologize to you after how long of an apology? Like, how long did you have to wait for this apology? This is what I'm talking about here. Like, look at these types of things that happen. Okay, it's the fact that you stole, but why did you steal? Okay, number one. And the fact that you know you did wrong, but you didn't even, you, you, you what? You're not apologizing? Till what? Yeah, but, hmm. <laughs> Let me just pull the cards and take my little personal information out of it. Different. What did I just say when I pulled this? Before I even started pulling the, stri the strictly sexual card. I said y'all on different pages. This person is not the same. They're not built like you. They're not built to be loyal. And no, they're built to take from motherfucker. This is who they are. This is who they are, Pisces. All right? Or those watching on behalf of Pisces. This is how they are. You can't change that. Now, you need to get away from this person and, and you need to go out in nature and recharge because some of you, you want to take this person back. This person depleted you emotionally. I'm feeling the energy here. This is betrayal at its worst. So you need some time alone in nature to recharge. Let me get you one more and I'm going to let you go. Mm. I'm going to let you read that. I ain't even going to read it. I'm going to let you read it. Here, make sure you can see it. Now, understand that spiritual lessons, this person is, is meant to teach you a lesson. You learned the lesson. Now it's time to let it go. All right. There's not, this doesn't say spiritual lessons as in let them do it again and come, let them come, excuse me, let them come back. This says spiritual lesson one Pisces. This has been your reading. Let me know if this resonates with you by clicking the like button. If you know somebody who needs to hear this message, please share this with them as it can help them to weed out the uh, the bad seeds in their life. And before they think twice about taking this person back, they need to see this reading. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.